Hello! Today we are going to learn about the drum sound on the didgeridoo and we are going to do that because this is the question I got the most lately especially after the three didgeridoo exercises you should do every day. First we need to understand which drum sound are we after because there can be many things that could be called the drum sound. So this is the drum sound we are after. Okay, so how do we recognize it? Uh, it doesn't have a drone inside. Uh, this, well, it has a fundamental, it has a bass, but it, it doesn't have this vibration of lips that we recognize. So it's not done like that. Uh, it has quite abrupt beginning and quite abrupt ending. Also, it has nice transients and it sounds a bit powerful, like something snapped. There are two reasons why. One is because of its prerequisites. It will teach you certain things about embouchure that you didn't, probably didn't know before. It will teach you certain things about tongue that you probably didn't know before. And also how to compress air. And all of that is very important and it will uh, be important in other aspects of the Jiu-Jitsu playing. For example, if you want to play non-drone or with reduced vibration, and this is very important when you play with a lot of articulations, then you will have some similar, very similar principles to this drum sound. So for example, if you want to play this, more clearly and um, with better detail, better precision and better power, you have to apply the principle that you will learn today about the drum sound. And this will come almost for free, because what you will learn with the drum sound is a universal principle. The other um, a reason why the drum sound is so important is because of its consequences. And some things are direct consequences of knowing the right way to do the drum sound. So for example, the air code, this uh, way of playing away from the mouthpiece which has sustain. This is direct consequences. And other forms of drumming on uh, the ditch are also uh, very connected to the basic principles of the drum sound. First we have to understand that we need a special embouchure for this sound and the embouchure is such that the lips are connected in a thick contact. So basically this means that they are the, the contact is deeper inside the mouth but you actually do it by protruding the lips a bit forward. So it's a bit like giving a kiss someone to someone you know, or doing just a normal Facebook uh, photo. Uh, but this will not create the right embouchure, it's only part of it. So the thickness of the contact of the lips is part of the story. Another thing is that you have to um, stretch them to the sides and a little bit down the corners of the, of the lips. So there is not much to see, but the lips are relatively stretched, but over a um, quite thick area, okay? When you have the right embouchure, the lips in this position, they do not want to vibrate. And um, what will happen in the sound is that they will only close, open and close once. And they will open and close once the pressure reaches them. Uh, now where the pressure comes from? The pressure will come from behind the tongue. So what you need to do with the tongue is to press the front of the tongue and the middle part of the tongue in the front palate up and very, very strongly. So it's a little bit like saying the letter T, yeah? But um, it's more like, think of Theon steroids, and this is quite not enough. So you have to think about the T 
which is uh, from Krypton and it had gamma rays that created Hulk. It's that kind of thing. So you press with all your power up, okay? And you make this funny embouchure. Then when the tongue is pressed in this way, you push a little bit from air from your lungs. It will not really feel like pushing because the lungs are so big and the mouth is so small that even with slight pressure here, you will feel quite strong pressure here. It's a little bit like um, when you're blocking yourself to laugh. You know, somebody says a stupid joke in a not appropriate moment and you're like, <coughs> you know, so you block with your tongue this air that wants to come out. So you block it and then you release it. When the tongue goes down, the pressure will open the lips and close them and only once. So you can notice that when I do this sound without uh, the ditch, you don't actually see that the lips open. They do open and they close and this is when the sound happens, but you don't see this. Okay, so don't do it. It's another sound and this is not what we are after here. And also you have to understand that it's a little bit the quality that we are looking for. If you don't press the lips strong enough and if you don't press tongue strong enough, you might still get the sound, but it's a little bit like running 100 meters the the result is important so the point of 100 meters run is not that you can run it so nobody is interested if you can run it in half an hour okay and many more people are interested if you can run it in under 10 seconds and many many more if you can run it under 9.5 seconds okay so it's a little bit like this also with this sound if you do the drum sound and you're very relaxed it sounds like somebody is tapping on the um, uh, wooden floor or that you dropped a marble which is uh, oscillating very slowly bouncing very slowly but uh, you can really knock at the door if you put more power into it And when you press your sound more, it will also be much richer frequency wise. So again, to go through the steps, you need to um, make a thick contact with the lips. Then you need to stretch those lips to the sides and a little bit down. Um, then you press with your tongue against the palate and you build the pressure behind the tongue. You do that pressure, you make that pressure by pushing the air from the lungs. Then you drop uh, the tongue um, suddenly and this air just goes out and breaks through the that lip barrier that you created. And the lips open and they close once. And this is when the sound happens. So it's very simple. Press a lot. So what are some rhythms uh, that you can uh, practice uh, when you're learning this sound? For example, you can take the first part of Stinker Room. There is uh, the drone, doom di, and then there is this drum sound, tup tup. Okay, so um, you can um, practice it in such a way that the drone is powerful but it's not overpowering the drum sound after it. So you have to a little bit be your own compressor and adjust the drone, so to have power, but not so much volume. You can practice this uh, also with some video that you have of Stink Room and you just play this part on repeat. Um, then the next rhythm you can do is like 8-8 eight, eight, and you emphasize 1 and with the drone and 2 and 3 you make into this drum sound. So it's doom tup tup doom tup tup doom tup okay? You can 
also do it a bit slower if you want. Um, make sure that the quality of the sound is not dropping. If it's diminishing in a few seconds, there is something you need to drastically change. If it's diminishing in a few minutes, it means you have to just work on your endurance. So other possible progressions from uh, the drum sound is the air code. Okay, with many variations. But more about that in some other video. You can also create other drumming sounds uh, by uh, making slight variations of the pressure, of the tongue position, of the embouchure, of, of the closure with a, um, with a mouthpiece, how you close uh, the mouthpiece with your lips. So here are some examples. So this would be normal that we just learned. But you can also play it in a um, more soft way, like um, the lake of awareness. So that would be it about the drum sound. If you want more techniques showed, contact me through Facebook or uh, by email. Please subscribe to this channel because I want to make uh, the world a better place in terms of didgeridoo playing and I can only do it if you let me do it. Um, if you are interested in this instrument or other instruments that are good for uh, the way I play, you can find it also on our didgeridoo website. And uh, thank you and spiral out. Also, do not underestimate the power of simple sounds when they are done in a good way and sometimes challenge yourself to do simple songs.